Hello, I'm Shannon Hale. I'm the author of books like Real Friends, Best Friends, and the newest one, Friends Forever. And I'm here to talk to you about a very important topic, puberty. Just what does puberty look like? I'm just kidding. I'm just here to welcome you back to school. Hello, welcome back to school. This is your third school year during a global pandemic. And I just, I'm so sorry. Like, middle school is stressful enough without having to deal with all of this. It's not fair to you. I wish it wasn't like this. I went to eighth grade. I started eighth grade in 1987. And that was a weird year. The, not as weird as this one. I remember that the summer before I started eighth grade, I spent that whole summer trying to sleep in as much as possible and um, reading books and trying to make as much money as I could so that when my friends wanted to take a bus downtown, I'd have some money to spend, like buying a piece of pizza in the food court or an Orange Julius. Do you know what Orange Julius is? Is that still a thing? I don't even know if it's still around. Orange Julius was like a smoothie, but not good for you. Anyway, 1987, very strange year, a lot of big hair. We were all trying to have as big a hair possible, bigger the better. In fact, in my area, um, it was really beautiful, I guess, for girls to try to get bangs up as high as possible. And like some of it was just like these masses of bangs, but some of them would, would just go straight. I can't even get, <laughs> I can't even show you. It was like as high as my hand, but it was just like this flat wall right in the front with this little hook on the side. That's how their bangs looked. And we would have these competitions in school where we'd get rulers and measure who had the highest claw bangs and whoever had the highest would win. I never could manage getting bangs up like that. It was like magic. I don't know how they did it. But I did get a perm. I wanted to have these beautiful corkscrew curls in my hair before picture day for eighth grade. In fact, I have a photo of how well that did not work out. See, here's my picture in eighth grade. That was my eighth grade retake because I wasn't happy with it. I just had like these, it was just like a fried haystack. It just didn't, it didn't work out for me. <laughs> but at that age, I mean, actually at every age, I had a lot of emotions. I had a lot of big emotions. I didn't know I had an anxiety disorder. I had obsessive compulsive disorder. And I also just felt normal human emotions, but I felt ashamed for that, especially for feeling anxious or sad or depressed. I felt ashamed for that. And I was always trying to, I spent so much energy trying to hide those feelings and stuff them down inside me where no one could see them and judge me for them. It took me a long time to realize that it doesn't work, unfortunately. It, feelings don't go away when we just try to repress them. But however you're feeling, I hope you know it's okay. Whether you're feeling sad or excited or both, whether you're dreading the new school year or are looking forward to it or both, your feelings matter. Your feelings are valid. How you feel matters and you matter. And I hope this year we can all be a little bit more compassionate for each other. I hope we can give each other a break. We all deserve a break. You deserve a break. Please give yourself a break. Whether you're returning to a new school or um, starting a new school or returning to one you already know, I hope it's a great year for you. I hope you find your people and make real friends and just have a blast. Good luck.